Exploring the endocannabinoid system. Adipose tissue, once viewed simply as a metabolically inert storage depot for triglycerides, is now considered to be an active endocrine organ. Adipose tissue releases a host of factors, including cytokines, inflammatory mediators like plasminogen activator inhibitor 1, fatty acids, leptin, resistin, and adiponectin. Release of these factors has in part been linked to a newly discovered physiologic system, the endocannabinoid system, also called the ECS. The ECS appears to play an important role in fat and glucose metabolism and insulin resistance. The ECS consists of endocannabinoid signaling molecules, an andamide and 2-AG, and CB1 receptors. CB1 receptors are found centrally in the brain and peripherally in the adipose tissue, liver, skeletal muscle, gastrointestinal tract, and a variety of other tissues. Through mechanisms in these multiple sites, the ECS plays a role in the regulation of energy and substrate metabolism. The ECS agonists anandamide and 2-AG are derived from lipid precursors such as arachidonic acid and are synthesized on demand. They activate CB1 receptors locally and are immediately metabolized. When anandamide and 2-AG activate CB1 receptors, they trigger an intracellular signaling cascade that affects many physiologic processes, both centrally and peripherally. Centrally, CB1 activation influences feeding behavior and energy balance. Peripherally, in adipose tissue, CB1 activation appears to stimulate lipogenesis and inhibit adiponectin expression. Low adiponectin levels are commonly found in obese people and diabetic individuals. Also, low adiponectin levels have been linked to high levels of free fatty acids, low HDL, high triglycerides, and insulin resistance. In the liver, CB1 activation increases the expression of enzymes involved in lipogenesis, thereby contributing to the development of adiposity, dyslipidemia, and insulin resistance. In skeletal muscle, CB1 activity is associated with insulin-mediated glucose uptake in obese, insulin-resistant rats. In the gastrointestinal tract, CB1 agonists are involved in gastrointestinal motility and satiety signaling. In summary, the gastrointestinal tract, liver, skeletal muscle, brain, and adipose tissue are all components of the endocannabinoid system. ECS overactivity is associated with energy intake and expenditure, as well as lipid and glucose metabolism.